Yo, this is something big right here. And it's moving. That's a turtle. That's a snapping turtle. Come here. Got it. Yo! Check that out! That's an alligator snapping turtle! These small river systems snake their way through miles and miles of land down in the southern United States, and they just so happen to contain some of the world's most extraordinary animals. This is an absolutely gorgeous river system. Right now we're in southern Mississippi, and we're going to be looking for an alligator snapping turtle, one of the biggest freshwater turtles there is in the world. I want to show you something real quick. This is an Indian spearhead. Now this is one from my personal collection, but people find them all up and down this river. Spearheads and arrowheads, as well as petrified wood. This river's history goes way back, hundreds of years, and while it was much smaller back then, alligator snapping turtles lived just like they do today in this river. Even though people go all up and down this river, they're still in here, and they can live well over a hundred years. That's pretty crazy. Canoeing is our best way of traveling down this river system to search for an alligator snapping turtle. But we're also going to see some of the other animals living along the river as we go. Okay, that's what we're doing Hello. Hello, buddy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hello, buddy. Hello. Hello, friend. What are you doing? That's a little Texas rat snake. I absolutely love these guys. He's jumpy. Don't bite me. All right, he's cool. Cute little dude. They're a really common snake out here. And uh, I'd have to guess that they sit along these banks for fresh water. And uh, a lot of little mammals would come to the bank here. So that'd be something, something that they could catch. They could also, he's really chumpy. They'll also be able to eat birds and bird's eggs. Any of them that nest along this river. Okay, come on. But this is a gorgeous snake. And uh, one that's pretty common out here. One of my favorites to find, actually. And they always kind of aim at your face when you first pick them up. They kind of coil up and they're like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And normally I can avoid getting bit by them, but uh, oh, he's really jumpy. Really jumpy little snake. Hello, bud. All right. All right, we're going to put you back and keep looking for turtles. Come here, bud. There you go, little buddy. Boop, boop, boop. That's not the turtle we're looking for, but that's a real cutie. This is a really cool species of turtle, one of the most common map turtles even out here. Now you can tell it's a map turtle, because if you look at their face, they've got all these little lines and squiggles, and they've got two little white lines right behind their head, kind of right behind their eyes. And they've got these little black knobs all down the back, and they've got saw teeth, kind of, if I were to do that, it would like slice my finger open. It's actually really sharp. Now this would be a young one, they get about that big, but uh, they can grow quite a bit bigger. This is one of the most common map turtle species out here. There's a couple other really rare species that I'd like to show you guys in the future, but this is the most common one. But even these, I really don't see them that much, so it's really cool to see. Not one of the giant turtles that we're looking for, but definitely a little cutie. Alright, see you little buddy. Watch this. Watch him take off. It just started raining a bit, and the river's really muddied up right now, which makes spotting any turtle much harder. Of all the days we spent searching for this turtle, I never thought that today would be the day we found one. Yo, this is something big right here. And it's moving. That's a turtle. That's a snapping turtle! Come here! Got it! Yo! Check that out! That's an alligator snapping turtle! Woo! Look at that! Oh my goodness! That is incredible! I thought we were going to have to go for some nighttime searches, even though we've done a couple already, but I figured we would find one at night, because that's when these guys mostly come out. Look at that mouth! They do not snap like a normal snapping turtle. They sit there with that mouth open. They are much more powerful than that of a common snapping turtle. 
This turtle is about, mm, I'd say about 15 pounds. Most people that find this would say, oh, that's a 40 pound turtle. This is about a 15 pound turtle. They're just really awkward to hold. Now this thing is really strong, but they're really chill most of the time. I Meaning when you pick them up, they just sit there with that mouth open. They're like, yeah, you can't touch me. And the second you come from my face, I'm gonna bite you. I'm gonna bite a finger off. This guy would not be able to take off a hand, but certainly could take off a finger. Look at that mouth, huge mouth. And what they do is to hunt, they hunt very different than the common snapping turtle. What they do is they sit with their mouth open and they've got this little lure inside their mouth. It's called a cordial lure, a caudal lure. But that basically what that little lure does is it sits and wiggles and it looks just like a worm. And in this river, that would attract catfish, perch, even small mouth and large mouth bass. Oh my goodness. Every log we've been seeing, I've been like, oh, is that a snapping turtle? Is that a snapping turtle? None of it has been snapping turtles. And it has literally taken all year for us to find a wild snapping turtle. Now, this is technically not the first sna alligator snapping turtle I've handled. I have a pet one at home, and it's like not even a fourth of this size. He's a little fella. And this turtle would easily be over a decade old, maybe 15 to 20 years. Now, as I've mentioned already, this river used to be kind of like inhabited by Indians, and they have found alligator snapping turtles, huge ones, with arrowheads and musket balls in the shell. Think about that. That is an ancient, literally an ancient turtle. It's over a hundred years old at that point. Now what they do during the winter time in this river, because this river stays pretty cool and flowing, and we don't get too harsh of winters down here, but they'll bury up against the bank, and even during the dry season they bury themselves down along the banks, and they just basically stay dormant like that until it warms up or they get more flood water. Now this turtle, has it really rough here in Louisiana. This is one of the best areas to find alligator snapping turtles, but they're still uncommon to find. And the reason being is because of netting mostly, meaning when people set out nets to catch fish, they don't set it at the top, they set it at the bottom. So what the turtle does, the turtle crawls into the net, gets the bait, whatever, and then when it tries to get it, it can't. But the thing is, fish don't need air. These guys need air. They need to stick their nose up to get air. So if they're on the bottom, they're eventually gonna drown in the net, which is a real shame. Now, another thing is commercial fishing, which has lessened over the past couple years, but these turtles have been turned into soup. And we're talking about a turtle that takes decades and even sometimes they live over a century. So we're talking not the best sustainable food source. So please don't eat alligator snapping turtle soup. It's not a good source of food. Find something like chicken. Chicken's way better, in my opinion, and it's such a beautiful animal. It's really not even worth it. Now you can see the shell is different than that. Let me turn it around of a common snapping turtle. It's got a bigger ridge and they've got higher, higher lumps and they're much spikier. Now you can see I'm holding this turtle different than I would a common snapping turtle. I'm holding above the head and right behind the leg. Now this is not something you want to go and try if you're not familiar with the species or anything like that. This turtle could take a finger off. Seriously, if I stuck my finger by, it could literally take my finger off. Much more powerful than a common snapping turtle, that's for sure. These guys crush catfish, perch, bass, anything that will come along their little holes. Now I've even snorkeled in here looking, looking along the bases of all kinds of different stuff looking for these guys and really it was just covering territory and searching in different places that got us this turtle which that's really incredible. It's a special animal for sure. Now this would not be a full grown turtle. This turtle can grow over a over hundred pounds. Alligator snapping turtles like common snapping turtles have a huge tail. You can see that right there huge big tail and that's an easy way to recognize a snapping turtle is because they have that longer tail. Now this turtle, I don't want to touch anywhere under it, around it, by its front feet. They are very fast when they snap at you. Very fast. Beautiful species. They've got a huge sharp beak and a much bigger head than the common snapping turtle. That's why they're called a logger head snapping turtle because they've got a huge head like a log. Now a lot of species of turtles are considered loggerheads, like the loggerhead sea turtle, loggerhead musk turtle, which we've actually found in this river system, and then you got the loggerhead snapping turtle, which is one of my favorite species. People fish here all the time, they lay out nets, and loads of people go up and down this river, but they still have these giant beasts in here, and they're not something to really be afraid of if you know that they're in the area. See, the thing is with this turtle, they won't bite unless they're messed with. So you need to stay away from, basically if you see one, don't go and grab it, just take a picture, and that's, that's incredible if you can get a picture of one of these guys. But seriously, don't go and grab these because it could be very, very dangerous. I mean, look at that mouth. And this would be considered a small one. That's pretty crazy to think about because this is one of the larger snapping turtles that I've found because most of the common snapping turtles down south are pretty small. 
Now another thing that they'd also be eating in here is baby soft shell turtles. Baby soft shells go all up and down this river and it's like a little snack for these guys. They'll eat anything at all. Now one of the things that makes them hard to find is they build these giant burrows at the bases of cliffs and at the bases of basically the shoreline. This little shallow area here wouldn't be a real area for her to dig. In fact, I would guess that all this behind me is where her den would be, like a little thing for her to go and tuck behind. That would be most likely. But people have been snorkeling down here, spear fishing, looking for fish. And what will happen is they're at the base of the cliffs and that's where people find them out here. And uh, we've even seen some pictures of some of the alligator snapping turtles found out here. And they're absolutely massive. Some of them over 50, 60 pounds, closing in on 100 pounds. That's a big turtle, but it's expected of this turtle species. Alligator snapping turtles can get over that size, but it just takes a lot of time. They're a slow grower, slow metabolism, and uh, just a slow creature overall. Wow, this thing is an absolute dragon. Closest thing to one we're gonna get out here, and that's a very special animal to find, and I'm so glad we got to show you guys this turtle. We've been looking for one for a long time, and I'm really glad we're getting to show you one. And uh, hopefully one day we'll be able to show you one of those 100 pound turtles I was talking about. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. Right,